Shut up, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And that is what you call a Joel Cohen technique or Joel Cohen incision for cesarean delivery. This is part two of a video I posted yesterday regarding the Joel Cohen incision or technique for cesarean delivery. But first, here is a, a representation of the three more commonly used uh, incisions for a cesarean section. Vertical, infra umbilical, which means under the belly button. Then you have a Joel Cohen, which is straight across and a little bit higher on the lower uh, abdomen. And then you have a fan and still incision, which is lower, very low on the abdomen and in a, more of a U shape. In a typical cesarean section, we use a scalpel to get through the skin, a scalpel or a bobe to get through the subcutaneous tissue, um, which is the fatty layer. The next layer is going to be the fascia. We use a scalpel and scissors to get through the fascia and extend that laterally to the, each edge of the incision. The rectus muscles are then exposed. We then get into in between the rectus muscles in the midline, uh, either sharply, meaning with scissors or scalpel, or bluntly, meaning with our fingers and poke through um, the, that layer. And then a lot of times we inadvertently uh, get through the peritoneal layer too, which is the last layer before we actually enter the abdomen. If we don't do that um, then we uh, initially, then we will get through that sharply as well. Once you're inside the uh, abdomen, you can see the uterus there, and then you make your uterine incision to deliver the baby. With the Joel Cohen technique, a lot of those steps are bypassed and more blunt dissection with our hands are used. So I'm getting ready to show you now and talk you through a, a video of the Joel Cohen technique. So if you don't wanna watch it, then you better scroll on. Okay, first thing she's gonna do is use a scalpel and make that straight incision across on the skin. This subcutaneous layer on this patient is very, very thin. You can barely see it. She's already through the sub-Q. Now she's making an incision in the, scalp, uh, in the fascia. You can see that white layer there. They will then put their fingers on either side and extend that fascial incision laterally, bluntly. That means not sharply uh, with the scissors or a uh, uh, scalpel. That red you're seeing there are the rectus muscles. And in a minute, you'll see the center of those rectus muscles, the line there. Now they're gonna extend upwards. You'll see that line, that natural divide between the rectus muscles uh, right there is that white line. She's gonna use an instrument to kind of make some room. She'll use her finger to bluntly get in uh, through those rectus muscles. And you'll see in a second where she pops through the peritoneum right there, pops through, extends that bluntly laterally, and that's the uterus. Next, uterine incision. Now there are also modified versions of this Joel Cohen technique as well. Now this 2013 Cochrane review showed that the Joel Cohen incision has advantage, advantages over the fan and still, less fever, pain, uh, analgesia requirements, less blood loss, shorter duration of surgery, and hospital stay. This is a 2017 systematic review and meta-analysis of Joel Cohen versus fan and still. And they concluded that um, the Joel Cohen based technique is generally more effective than the fan and still incision technique. In addition, it was recommended that the Joel Cohen based technique be used as a replacement for the fan and still incision technique according to the surgeon's preferences and the patient's conditions. It's important to note that not everyone is the best candidate for the Joel Cohen technique. If this is something that interests you, talk to your OBGYN.